So here's what we got. Here's the lineup for everything, everyone. Are you ready for this? It's WrestleMania week. So tonight we have Raw. It's a taped show. So we have Bobby Lashley versus Cedric Alexander. Drew McIntyre versus Baron Corbin. Nye and Shayna versus Asuka and Rhea Ripley. Great opportunity for uh, Asuka, uh, or for Shayna to do another job. And Xavier Woods versus AJ Styles. That's our lineup for the, the show tonight. So buckle up for Raw tonight, everybody. Taped shows I usually find easier to watch than the live shows. I don't know why. Maybe because they can edit them. So then we have the WWE Hall of Fame. This is the lineup for the Hall of Fame and a couple of notes. We've got the NWO, Brie and Nikki Bella, JBL, British Bulldog, Davey Boy Smith, Jushin Liger, William Shatner, and receiving the Warrior Award is Titus O'Neil. The 2021 Hall of Fame class, Molly Holly, Eric Bischoff, Kane, the great Kali, Rob Van Dam, and Ozzy Osbourne. And it looks like no Warrior Award for the 2021. So anyway, everybody, I asked a long time ago, why are we doing the 2020 and 2021 Hall of Fame? When you think about all of the things that this company does where it, like, they just do stuff and it doesn't matter and they forget this, they forget that, they don't do this, they don't do that, they don't follow up this, they don't follow up that. By God, we must have a 2020 Hall of Fame class. We don't want people looking back and saying, why wasn't there a 2020 Hall of Fame class? And then investigating and finding out there was a pandemic and getting sad. I don't know what their excuse is, but for whatever reason, it was very, very important to have a 2020 and a 2021 Hall of Fame class. Even though, quite frankly, I mean, I won't mention any names, but scraping the bottom of the barrel here so anyway then the question became all right well you have to do two hall of fame classes god forbid we only do 2020 this year and then the next group go in next year well what are we gonna do because they're normally like 50 hours long we got the inductors we got the inductees we got you know hogan nash hall xbox they all got to cut a now I've got to do a speech. Jesus, how long is this show going to be? Well, what they did, everybody, is there are no inductors this year. They play a short video package. Everybody gets five minutes, which means for the NWO, that means Hogan, Nash, Hall, and Waltman all get about one minute each to speak, and then we just go on to the next people that are going to be inducted. If this sounds fun to you as a viewer, like, knock yourself out. But I don't even know why anybody would bother. So that's what they're doing for the Hall of Fame this year. It's just boom, 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 boom. We got to do 30 people or whatever because we just couldn't help ourselves. Everyone's got to be in the Hall of Fame. Two years worth this year. So uh, that's tomorrow on Peacock if you decide that you want to watch Eric Bischoff's four-minute speech about his career in uh, AWA, WCW, uh, WWF, and whatever else he does. I'll give you a chance I'm, here, Mike. Anything you want to say? I'm just looking forward to Kali's speech. You know, I can imagine how great that thing is going to be. Now, the Ozzy Osbourne thing kind of snuck up on me. What is Ozzy's uh, tie-in with WWF? He's other been than on the show before. Uh, I, WrestleMania two. Yes. If you have appeared on WWE programming, you are eligible for the Hall of Fame. That Which, by the way, one. as I look back, I seem to recall that the 2006 Hall of Fame on the network, uh, my wife and I are on screen. You know, they go out through the crowd. They're like, oh, look at this uh, look at this uh, beautiful uh, woman and this creep next to her. Oh, we'll put them on television. Well, I guess now I am eligible for the WWE Hall of Fame. Something tells I'll me wait for my five minutes down the road. <laughs> so is your wife. <laughs> like I could get all of this into five minutes, my my speech. Oh, all right, well, you're all done. So anyway, then we got uh, TakeOver <laughs> on Wednesday. Uh, we got Wednesday and Thursday. TakeOver Wednesday is Pete Dunn and Kushida. MSK, Grizzled Young Vets, and Legato Del Fantasma. 
We got this, uh, this thing, Gauntlet Eliminator. It's really quite simple. It only required four screens of rules. <laughs> Leon Ruff, uh, Swerve Scott, Bronson Reed, Cameron Gar Grimes, Dexter Loomis, and L.A. Knight. Uh, Valter versus Tommaso Ciampa, and Io Shirai, and Raquel for the women's title. That's the main event of that night. Io and Raquel have got to follow, follow Walter and uh, Tommaso Ciampa, so good luck with that. No offense to them. And then the next night, Thursday, we got Ember Moon and Shotzi versus The Way. We got Jordan Dev Devlin versus Santos Escobar. Johnny Gargano versus the Gauntlet Eliminator winner. Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, Finn Balor versus Karrion Cross. That should be a fine night of action. And I would like to say that... Uh, explain this to me, everybody. Because I know everyone just automatically thinks that I'm just a jerk and I'm biased. Explain this to me, okay? Triple H has stated that night one of TakeOver is going to be simulcast on USA and Peacock, okay? All right. Got that? Yeah. He has stated that the Peacock feed will have no commercial interruptions. Mm. Okay? All right. But he also said, we're going to figure out how to do that between now and when the show goes on the air. What? Mm. Well, that's... What's uh, there to figure out? There's either commercials or there's not. So if you're telling me there's no commercials, what is there to figure out between now and showtime? Well, that you announce something like that, but you don't clear it with NBC first because you got to figure out, okay, what is paid for as far as advertising on streaming? Because if you're going to run a pure stream with nothing on it, well, your USA app and your people that are watching on USA might get a little upset with that. So... I that just strikes me as something that he said and then said, well, we'll figure it out. And, well, you got to run that through NBC Universal first. And I, I don't know how that works. I guess we're going to find out come uh, come tomorrow. I mean, they have advertised limited commercial interruptions and still had commercials. So, I mean, I don't know what's going on, but it is weird because, like, what's the point of a takeover on, on USA as to draw ratings? showcase so you're gonna you're going to do a show which by the way like what they want they want to beat AEW on wednesday that's their goal obviously they're that's their goal every week but they really want to win this week so that they leave with a win instead of leaving with a loss but you're gonna simulcast it on peacock which will not count into the usa network ratings with no commercials and usa is like hey go for it send everybody over to peacock we don't need them viewing on the network. It's all very weird. I say we got a synergy issue here then, don't we? You know, everybody not working with each other well here then if that's the case. Because the USA people obviously want their ratings, but Peacock needs numbers and WWE wants to serve both masters and yeah, all that sort of fun stuff that's got actually nothing to do, absolutely nothing to do with anything that takes place in the ring. And finally, WrestleMania Night 1, Sasha and Bianca, which allegedly is the main event of Night 1. Lashley and Drew McIntyre, which I think is opening the show. And Drew argued he would love to open the show. And if I were Drew, I would also love to open the show. Although, I'll get to this in a moment. Bad Bunny and The Miz, New Day versus AJ and Omos, Braun Strowman versus Shane McMahon, and Cesaro versus Seth Rollins. And Night 2, Roman Reigns, Edge and Daniel Bryan, Oscar versus Rhea, Fiend versus Randy, Biggie and Apollo, Kevin Owens and Sammy, and Riddle and Sheamus. Only thing I'd like to say before I go to the break is, why in the name of God, your first major show back in front of tens of thousands of fans, would you have a kickoff match and waste that first pop on the pre-show? If I were Drew, I'd, I'd advocate against that. Back in a moment, Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.